welcome back to my channel. This is Spring Porter with Spring Solutions LLC. In this video, I'm going to be going over another student testimony. This payout was $34,795, uh, and these are two claims that total this amount. If you're interested, please stay tuned. Please note that I am not an attorney, and this information is not indicated as legal advice. So this is my uh, student that got the three other claims. I'll post the link to that um, video that I did over uh, her cases up here. Um, again, she her company is RAL Money Finders LLC. As I mentioned in the previous video, she is a full time employee. She has children. She's married. She has you know a large family, uh, and she just sort of does this on the side. And so, this is actually one of the first. Uh, people that she, you know, got a deal from, she called and it worked. So she actually filed this in July. This was a problem file for her, she mentioned, and not because she didn't know what she was doing. She submitted all the paperwork properly as the court didn't know what they were doing with processing this information. So Puerto Rico, um, I guess at the time that she did this particular claim, maybe they were in between, you know, having new staff. Um, they just did not get a lot of claims that they were processing. And so they didn't have a system, but that has since changed probably because of my student here. So because she was calling them trying to figure out what is wrong, I submitted everything. Is it something missing? You know, so at any rate, these two claims come from Puerto Rico. My student is bilingual. Obviously, Puerto Ricans do speak English, too, but it wouldn't hurt to speak Spanish as well. Um, that's just my opinion. So this is um, cases from 2013. Um, the last name, the debtor is Samantha. And when I say cases from 2013, I'm saying that it was filed in um, in 2013, the, the Chapter 13 case. And the amount is 561925. It's down here. So basically, um, they this debtor got a refund. The check was never cashed. Um, and so the funds are here in the court. This is what this report, um, the trustee's report is saying. And so she called the client. And, um, you know, the client was willing to work with her. And so, again, this is for the amount 561925. This is the motion. Again, this is my student's name or her company's name, RAL Money Finders LLC. And here's the order. But it's October the 15th. She filed this in July 27th. So, again, lots of frustration. At one point, she was like, am I going to have to make a trip to Puerto Rico, you know, so they can see my face? Like, she's like, I don't understand what's going on. They really um, were behind and were just not having a process at all. So she was really frustrated and she just kept at it, kept talking to the same lady, to the clerk, to the finance department. And finally, she was able to get that order granting her application. And that happened on the 15th of October. Right. And again, you see no deficiencies, no objections. There's nothing in between here. This certificate of service is just a formality. I go over this in my course, and I think I have a video on my YouTube channel that covers the like what a certificate of service is. So that's all that this is. But there's nothing objecting at all uh, or saying that she's missing anything. So she did everything that she was supposed to do pursuant to how I show you in the course and pursuant to what was on the bankruptcy court website in Puerto Rico. So she followed everything properly. And she submitted um, paperwork to make sure that she got an electronic funds transfer. And so here is the ACH credit, and again, for the same amount, and this came in on the 10th of, you know, this month. And so, again, you see it says Treasury Department. This is, you know, Chapter 13, and uh, this case is from 2013 as well. So that's the case number that's blocked out that I put. And here is, um, again, the amount. So this went straight to her business account. And again, she charged, this is the claim amount, she charged 30%. So the payout was fifteen fifty seventy seven. Not bad. All right, so here's the other claim, again, from Puerto Rico as well. This is from 2015. Client's last name is Espada. This is a Chapter 7 this time instead of a 13. Um, this one is, this amount is a little bit larger. Um, and I just wanted to point out that um, bankruptcy claims on average, may be a lot uh, smaller than like tax overages and things like that because there's not always property that is um, sold, like real estate, um, that is always sold where enough money is leaving a refund. Uh, if something is sold, it's usually because they have to pay back other creditors. 
So that's why on average, you may not see claims that are like 250 or 300 or, you know, 150. They do exist, but obviously there's a lot of eyes on those. So you may have more bankruptcy unclaimed funds that are around maybe 10,000, 5,000, um, 3,000. There may be a lot more in that particular range, just so you know. But at any rate, this particular claim here was 18571 and I do see that it's a Chapter 7, and it probably has something to do with real estate being sold. So it does happen on occasion. So anyway, she called this debtor. They agreed to work with her. Um, she filed this motion September the 10th. And again, here's her company name, and here's that same amount, 1857184. She did mention to me that this one did go a lot smoother than the other one. Um, again, as you can see on the court docket, there's no deficiencies, there's no objections, there's no one saying that, you know, the, she did filed something wrong. Uh, and here you have the order granting the unclaimed funds, and that was submitted on the 15th of October. So this one went a lot smoother. And she got the payout the same date as the other one. So this credit came to her business account on the 10th. And so again, this comes from the Treasury Department. And again, this is the way they put it in in the memo section, Chapter 7 BK. And then they have the amount again here. And again, they put the case number. Right? So this claim is for 18571.84. She charged, you know, 10%. I guess that's what they agreed to. And pay out 1857.18. So those total together, you know, come up to 3407. And that's a monthly salary for some people. I mean, yeah, it took her a while to get the first one done. Um, but it's good when they come together like that. And so she basically got paid like twice. She has her regular full time payment for her check. And then she got this. And so her previous um, deals that she's got that she got and I'll, again I posted the video or the link to that video it, it totaled to $15.99 so that all together is about $5,006 so not bad and again this is with her having family and other obligations so I'm hoping I'm really proud of her I'm proud of like my students I'm hoping that that's motivating to other students out there who are like trying to figure this out and you're trying to get your deals and you're trying to get your money this is motivation for me as a teacher and then someone who does do her, you know, get her own claims too. That makes me motivated and I hope that motivates you to show you that this is possible. Um, you know, $3,000 is, you know, that's a monthly salary for someone right now who could be making this and they are like struggling trying to get it. When this was a little bit, I mean, yeah, she had to wait a minute to get it, but again, while in the middle of doing this, you could be doing those shorter deals or, you know, um, you know, maybe you have another job that you do too. So, I mean, every little bit does help. I'm going to be showing you my um, uh, testimonies again when I get them. I'm still waiting on my claims to get reviewed by the judge. Um, and in my other video, I had four that's pending and now I have six. Uh, I have one that I added in Georgia. So basically, I have two in Massachusetts, one in Louisiana, one in Alabama, one in Georgia that I just submitted, and I have another one that I'm going to be submitting to Massachusetts tomorrow, too. So it appears as though Massachusetts is pretty slow, like Puerto Rico, on that first deal, and it's been taking a long time. So we will see. Obviously, I will post those uh, videos to those when I get them, and I hope that this is helpful and motivating to you. I'm really excited that I could help someone make some money um that's motivating so i will see you in the next video thank you for watching